Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I hope you're enjoying yourselves. Hope you're having a good day. We are going to be doing a Legacy Cube draft. And uh, I want to. I still want to say, I'm going to keep saying it until, until the time that you guys can actually help me is over. But uh, definitely check out the link down in the description below if you're watching on Twitch, if you're watching on YouTube. Uh, it's for a game called Vikings War of Clans. It was a sponsored stream for me. And I just have to get... Uh, a specific number of downloads and you have to play through the tutorial so download the game on pc uh play through the tutorial and that's it that's all you have to do it'll take about five to six minutes of your time doesn't take long at all it's absolutely free you can uninstall it when you're done if you don't enjoy the game but uh it's a great way to support the channel for free and uh it's all it takes is your time literally all it takes is some time um so if you want to do that you can use the link down below uh it's also in the chat you can use command Viking if you're on Twitch and in the chat right now. And um, it's super easy. It's a great way to support the channel. So helps me out a ton. And I get a great incentive if I do hit the goal. So I'm trying to hit the goal. I have until Friday, uh, which would be like July 3rd, I believe. And uh, we'll see if we can do it. So, and uh, yeah, I, I would just appreciate the help. It's a great way to support the channel for free. Like I said, I'm just repeating myself now, <clears throat> but like, it's such a simple thing and it would mean the world to me guys um if you just want to help out and uh thank you a ton if you do so let's see if we can uh you know slam it all right we finally fired what are we taking first pick i'm gonna try not to be green because the last two drafts we did were green could just be sneak attack. I do like a good first pick sneak attack, man. That's pretty nice. Super Fritz knows what's up. Fritzy. Oh my god, one and two are letters? What are these? These are wild, dude. I mean, all we want is through the breach and Emrakul, right? Those are the two things we're looking for. I think if you first pick sneak attack, you should second pick lightning bolt. That's a good red card. Actually, Worm Coil is pretty decent, too, because you can sneak in Worm Coil. It, you get the 6 in, you get the 6 life, and then you do get the two three threes. I think it's actually Worm Coil. I definitely don't think it's Obosh, because we started with an even-costed even, even, even costed card. So I'm going to take Worm Coil, actually. <clears throat> I think not only is that just a solid dude, like, it's a great option for uh, sneak attack. Draft cards with pictures of stuff found in vacuum leftovers. Gross. Let's see this one into our letters clip. Titans of industry. Actually, Frank, they are Titans of the 2012 course set. <laughs> Alright, well, whatever. whatever. Uh, I don't think they'll say 2012 on them. <coughs> M12? Yeah. That's, that's still... What do you think the 12 stands for? The letters 1 and 2. 1 and 2 are letters? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The letters one and two. Oh, Michael B. All I had to say was yeah, and I got him. <laughs> huh. Oh, jeez. <laughs> it wasn't just your yeah. It was that like hesitation at the beginning. You're like, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. I have to figure out what pick this is. Um, It could just be Wandering Funeral. It could be Young Pyromancer. Could be thirst, and we can discard warm coil to find things. I think it's actually thirst. Thirst seems good when we're trying to dig to, to, to. We're trying to dig to those sneak attack targets. Let's see how the dog cam's looking. Adorable. <clears throat> trying to get it just right. I think that's probably better. Beautiful. Uh, opposition. I mean, we're not an opposition deck, but was it early enough that we could try to be? God, is that just another green deck, though? I mean, it's the most exciting card in this pack by a far, far margin, so. Let's see what side of the aisle we land on, I guess. We could always be... No, I was like, we could always just be red-green instead, and then... Still play some like, but wait, that doesn't work. <sighs> Dang it. Is it Questing Beast? It's gotta be Questing Beast here, right? The 
Banefire, Thundermaw Hellkite, or Thunderbreak Reacher? What are you? What are these cards you're naming? <clears throat> what are these cards you're naming, buddy? Oh, Blow Under. See, you get the sneak attack, but then you just don't get anything to go with it. And then they keep forcing into these good green cards. Also, Sahili could be good with the opposition. Hmm. I don't know what's going on right now. I feel like taking Sahili over Plow Under is wrong, but I also feel like this could be good. I really don't know what direction we're going here. I'm going to take Sahili. <clears throat> Tooth and Nail. Oh, you son of a biscuit. But also Draga Tree Speaker. I feel like I just let people fight over these, and then I take something like... <clears throat> Maybe like Talrand. Talrand also makes tokens, and he's also very good with we like. Yeah, let's take Talrand. Oh, lightning strike. Okay. Okay, so we're just trying to stick to like token opposition with sneak attack. Oh yes, you guys are amazing. Big money grip. I appreciate you, my dude. Thank you so much, man. <clears throat> I like Kira here. Kira into Talrand seems really good too. Whirler Rogue is good with composition. This is a lot of four drops. <laughs> okay, this is actually not bad. Kind of liking what we got here. I could use a Big Mama Emrakul and I threw the Breach. And I feel like we'd be in good shape. Into the Royal? I like it. I like it with Sahili, and I like it with Talorand. <clears throat> Is Talorand instant or sorcery? Yes, right? Okay, just checking. I also take a Pestermite and a Splinter Twin. The other thing I like about the blue-red deck is that they have so many combos. The combo's connected to the <clears throat> red bone. Um, oh, Thrill of Possibility. That's a nice little cheap spell. Banefire. No, Bonfire. You'll get caught up in the bane fire. Last pick, tooth and nail? So you're telling me I could have taken Draga Tree Speaker and I would have gotten the last pick, tooth and nail. <sighs> My god. Utterly ridiculous. That's insane. That's so disrespectful. I think it's Coalition Relic. There's nothing that we want to ramp in here. There's nothing, uh... There's no great instant or sorceries. I think we're just Coalition Relic. Pack, you think Pia is better than Coalition Relic? You're out of your mind. Hossmania. I say this with all due respect. You're an absolute maniac. I like Forbid. I also think Magma Jet's good. Where are my sneak attack targets, my dudes? <laughs> I think it's Forbid. Forbid's just a solid counter spell. You don't have to respect me. I just... Wow, that's wild. That's just crazy. Because, like, it's a very... It's like a... There's nothing to dislike about it. It ramps you two. It fixes your mana. It puts you from three to six. Like, it's pretty wild. I want to take Time Warp. I like it better than Control Magic here. Kind of. Yeah, I think so. <clears throat> A braid seems great. I also don't mind Season Pyromancer or Sweltering Suns. If either comes back, I'm okay with it. I do want some more cheap spells. Was there an Atarka in there? I didn't even see it. I don't see colors, that's why. Oh, it was the first card? That's probably why. I always skip the first card. Kozilek I will not be skipping, though. And I really wish I could take Silver Falls or Fiery Confluence, but I think having an Eldrazi uh, that annihilates is important. <sighs> Fiery Confluence is so good, though. <sighs> getting, getting the vapors. So is Sulphur Falls, actually. I think we take Sulphur Falls. I think it's just better because, like... Like, we want to have fixing. We have double blue, double blue, double blue, double blue, double blue, double blue, double blue. Double blue. Like, I want the fixing, and Kozilek is actually replaceable. 
<clears throat> I'll take an avalanche roar. Actually, I'll take an hour of devastation. It seems fine. I hate faithful sleuthing. I don't mind search for Escanta, I guess. <clears throat> None of these cards are <clears throat> actually force of negation is good. <clears throat> God, I don't know what happened to my throat. My throat's all scratchy now. I was doing fine until now. I don't know what happened. Collective defiance is trash. I'll take more full clutter. Kozlek might come back. <clears throat> Was watching Twitch Plays Magic and took a nap and woke up to a sub. M. White. Glad to hear it, buddy. Glad to hear it. I'll take Arcane Artisan because it's another it's another way to put creatures into play. Unfortunately, if Arcane Artisan leaves play, they do get exiled, not sacrificed. So we would not get our Worm Coil Engine tokens. Yeah, Super Fritz has been on a friggin' sub-gifting tear this month. It's actually pretty ridiculous. Yeah, Sweltering Suns came back. I think this next pack is the Kozilek pack. Cut you for now. I also don't love Thirst just because you don't have a ton of artifacts, but. Now we have Looter Thrill. Spellseeker. Hmm. Fascinating. Okay, well, Kozlek did not come back, unfortunately. It's okay, there's gonna be an Emrakul in this pack, and then we're gonna find it through the breach in the, in the next pack, so. Okay, neither neither of the statements I made were true. Do we take Deceiver Exarch over Chandra? Chandra is the much better pick. Deceiver Exarch has the better upside. It's also the one that's a little more resilient because it doesn't have one toughness. Oh, God. Can you guys help me? I don't know what to do. <clears throat> God, but this Chandra is so good. And Ponder is also real good in our deck. We have Talran, Sahili. Flip a coin. I actually don't have a coin up here. Flip a coin. Okay, I'm going to Google this. And I think if as soon as I Google it, it's going to come up. So I'm going to say heads. Heads, I take Deceiver Exarch. Tails, I take Chandra. Heads. Deceiver Exarch it is. Yep, that's exactly what I expected from Google. And it came through. I like Narset, but I think Bone Crusher is just a better card here. You think it's, you guys think it's Narset Days or Mizium Orders? I think it's Bone Crusher. That's kind of funny. Bone Crusher is not only a trigger for Talrand and Sahili, but it's also just a solid threat. Is this a Torrential Gearhulk deck? Is this a Coercive Portal deck? Dude, the number of cards that are like Opt is great for us. Embra Showbreaker is fine. Dak is not as good in the Vintage in the Legacy Cube. <clears throat> I like Course of Portal and I like Gear Hulk here. I'm not sure if it's a Gear Hulk deck yet. Actually, it might be. Eh, we have a Braid Thrill into the Royal Lightning Helix. Lightning Strike, rather. Force of Negation and Forbid. And it's a one mana Snapcaster, but it's also, it can't hit sorceries like this, which is sad. And it also dies if we do that. I kind of like Course of Portal here. 
I'm going to take Portal. Oh, that's a nice hit. <clears throat> I'm definitely taking this Niv Mazoot. Electrolyze, also pretty nice. All right. Well, I think we're going to regret this Deceiver Exarc pick, and I also don't think Sneak Attack uh, panned out. Let's take Spire Bluff Canal. We could take Ilharg, but we really don't have that many cards that are really taking advantage of it, so. We also have no fixing for, like, another color, so I, I would take a Johnny, but I think we probably just want Ancient Gro <sighs> I mean, Looter might be better than Merfolk Looter, actually. I think it is. You're attacking and you're looting, so. <clears throat> Murmuring Mystic actually seems great for this deck. Surprisingly. Rampaging Ferocidon seems terrible for this deck, surprisingly. A bloop. Actually, I like Spell Sky here. What's my favorite static ability off of Planeswalker? None. They're all broken. Actually, I think ranking the static abilities is probably like... <clears throat> I think that'd be a sweet article. Like you can have overpowered, underpowered... Ooh, opt. Opt, we have Murmuring Mystics, Sahili, and Talrand. Delver of Secrets? I don't think we're a Delver deck, but maybe we are? Oblivion Stone. Ilhard came back. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Need one cut now? Hmm. I think the Bolus ability is great. Yeah, I agree with that. Hey, man, you ever eat those vacuum leftovers? It's, it's when you open the... <laughs> I think we can actually take out Sneak Attack. I don't think we're a Sneak Attack deck anymore. Ilharg is just fine as a 6-6, six -six, right? Like, you just put Warm Coil Engine into play or Niv-Mizzet into play. Like, it comes back. It's not like you're losing it. <clears throat> might, might be able to take out Relic. Like, we don't have a ton of... This guy's more like a 2-drop. Exarch kind of sucks here. I'd rather have Spell Skite in the main deck. <clears throat> Just because it protects your other things. I think this deck's actually pretty sweet. How many spells do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm tempted to take out like Coalition Relic or something for Thirst for Knowledge. So we have one more spell. I think Opposition's fine with Murmuring Mystic, Sahili, and Whirler Rogue. I think we take Relic out. It's kind of counterintuitive because, like, you're taking out an artifact, which is easier to discard. But, like, we don't really seem to need Relic. We're not fixing, we're not ramping here. 10 5. <clears throat> so, this is a. I think it's. I think it's 8-7. This is actually 10-9. No, I think 11-8 I think is better. Like, because we have double blue, double blue, double blue, double blue, double blue, double blue, double blue. And, like, then we don't have another... We All our, all our spells up until 3 are all single red, so... Oh, I love the bonfire when you rip it on turn 2. You're just like... Cool. 
Super cool. Oh, hit me with them sweet PNG questions. I hate first picking uh, sneak attack and then not even really being able to use it. Oh, Sensei Miyagi 23. It's like a literal Michael Jordan Karate Kid crossover. Sweet hand. Sweet hand. Why does Twitch need the three different sizes, 1836 and 72 for badges? Um, as far as I know, it's for different uses, right? Like in chat, it's going to be, uh, it's like the smallest one. I don't think it's 1836 and 72. I thought it was 28, 52 and 56 and something else. I'm going to keep this hand. Yeah, I would trust Kerwood. Kerwood probably has a much better idea than I do. Alright, if we can actually land this Murmuring Mystic, I think we just win the game. This is four mana, though. I think I counter my looter. <clears throat> Such extremes with spells to land ratios. Is this your first time, is this your first time tuning in, Big Money Grip? Make every land drop. Really? How'd you like to make every land drop ever? Everyone? How'd you like to make every land drop? There's got to be a better way. <laughs> Mulligan to four again? How many times has this happened to you? Oh no. I don't, I have three cards in my hand because I had to mulligan to three and now I don't And I have, still don't have, have any land lands. drops. <laughs> has this happened to you? <laughs> wow, they just vindicated that guy? Did I just slam Bone Crusher Giant here? I think it's kind of worth it. It's a 4-3. Well, not anymore. With land tap. Really? How'd you like to make every land drop ever? A solid clip. Oh, no. I don't have any lands. <clears throat> oh, fascinating. This guy's coming in. Coming in hot. They take it? I don't think this is resolving, but that's okay. Oh, it resolved. Well, they're just going to damnation or the god, right? Dude, check out these dogs. Oh my god. Angels. Absolute angels. Oh, Scarab McGodderson. I kind of hope I hit a land so I can go into the Royal and opt to create two 1-1s. One well, that's... So 
So if we hit another land, we can go Opposition Lightning Strike and then just start tapping everything down. That seems good. I mean, I just hope they don't actually have Damnation or Wrath of God. Or a second white for Wrath of God. Or Toxic Deluge for five. But that's actually... This is going to be Toxic... <laughs> Sometimes you got to wonder... I hope they don't have Toxic Deluge for five. Toxic Deluge for five! Ooh. Froggy went a court and a heated ride a crumble. You got it. So you're at 8. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 damage here. Okie dokie. So you just time warp and kill you, right? So you kind of have to have force of negation. Or force of will. But force of will puts you to three, and then lightning strike kills you, so. Well, that was pretty sweet. Yeah, just gonna submit like this. This hand seems okay. Oh, an ancestral vision. Uh, pact negation. No, pact negation wouldn't have done it because then they have to tap out on their turn, and then I get to untap and kill them again with, uh, with my four power. So Pact of Negation is the... Casting Pact of Negation is literally the same as them letting my time warp resolve. Actually, I have no reason to cast Opt here. Yeah, see, it's much better if we just wait. When I first found out about people streaming MTG, playing MTG, it was watching videos and YouTube and Gabby Sparks pulled off something awesome. One time with Pack Navigation, she was playing like Storm or something and dug for Cloudscape to bounce their land. Oh yeah, it's definitely, that's like the dream when you can prevent them from, from hitting their land drop. Or like, you know, having five mana in play. I don't like this. I would love a force of negation here. Yeah, I don't care about that. Well, that's not going to do it. Uh, 
Like, I think it's just Chorus of Portal here. I think hitting two lands, uh, two cards a turn is just really strong. Especially if we can just resolve it before they have a counterspell, so. Well, no, it's I, I didn't want to see Healy opt because I want to be able to hit land drops going forward, and I think just getting this down when we can is more important. Let's see, Forbid is nice. Four, five, they have eight mana. They don't have any white sources though, so they can't like Sphinx's Rev for something. I'm just gonna play this instead of Opt because it's a better use of mana. Plus, if we start drawing excess lands, I want to have a an outlet. Did they miss a land drop? What? You just threw your card and then you missed a land drop? Say what? Always homage. Homage, yo. Also, having forbid here is pretty nice. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna wait till we have seven. One, two, three. I should have held that, right? Probably. Also, Sahili being every any non-token creature is pretty strong. Yeah, you discard land. I mean, you could have played niv -Mizza, but I think we're going to stick to our plan of Spellskite Opt forbid anything they play and we also have to assume they have a counter spell right okay well that'll do <laughs> all right our deck's kind of sweet That was uneventful. It was on. It was anticlimactic for sure, for sure. Guys, don't forget to support me by going and downloading uh, Vikings and playing through the tutorial. That's literally all you gotta do. It's five to six minutes. It's really short. Kirk Chorwit could have done it. You can find the link down below in the YouTube description, in the Twitch description, in my Twitch profile, or in the chat right this second. You can even like just copy and paste. You can just paste that. You can just type that link out. HTTPS colon backslash backslash p dot strms dot net slash Frank Lepore underscore Vikings bot. Super easy. Re yeah, let's rejoin the queue. Oh, I didn't accept my match. Did I just miss it? They used to make a noise. It used to be like, whoa. Also, I, I forgot I had this dog came up the whole time, so. <sighs> Apologies for that, guys. Unless you guys are like, no, it's totally fine, man. Dog cams for days. Do you play? Do you plan to play some M twenty? Yes, I I will play some M twenty one drafts as soon as the Legacy Cube is done, which is this Wednesday. You know what? I'll keep it. It's not exciting. We have thrill to discard lands if we really need to. Murmuring Mystics is a nice little. 
a nice little dude. You crazy. You're breathtaking. I have all these like draw draw spells and I just don't want to use them until I get my murmuring mist mistaku down. Okay, that's good. That's nice. Oh, well that's pretty sweet. Now I just get to play Murmuring Mystic. I didn't actually realize you had that. With your 60 card deck. Seems good. So now we get to Force of Negation something if they play it. Otherwise we get to go Thrill, Opt. Mm, yeah. Let's not vote. Okay. Well, now we get to keep up for bid, too. Well, that's just crazy. You just wrecked Sensei Miyagi. <laughs> oh, God. Can you stop trying to kill my guy and all his birds? And if they have the word here that takes six, they go to eight. Blade Splicer, sure. That don't impress me much. Kerwood, buddy. Have a good night, my dude. I'm sure I'll see you tomorrow. Say goodnight to Chora at four hours. <laughs> Love it. Goodbye, graveyard. <sighs> Yorion, hear me calling. You're gonna blink this thing. This feels better than not doing it, right? I can still double block my worm, but oh, that's fine. Show me what you've got. Do 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 do. Even if they like block here, they have to double block this guy. So everybody, our, our attacks are really good. Like if you want to double block Worm Coil, that's fine. You're gonna double block this guy and take six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You go to one. <laughs> that seems a little risky, buddy. Is that a cake reference? Was what a cake reference? What Super Fritz said? You go to two instead? Yikes. I don't know how you come out of this one.
I like a super fritz with a long coat and a long <sighs> jacket. Man, this murmuring mystic did some work, boy. Oh man, that long sleeve pants comment. Sleeve pants in the house. Why should I wear long sleeve pants in the house? Ah! <laughs> Wait, what was that? Wait, I don't understand what was funny about that. They're not called long sleeve, man. <laughs> no, they're just called pants. God. <laughs> It's funny because I like even watching it now. I'm like, I didn't even remember. I like, I, I had no idea that's what I said. God, long sleeve pants, dude. Sixty cards, man. You gotta have some, you gotta have some trash in there, right? It is real hard to build a two card six, two two color sixty card deck in this, in this format. Long sleeve pants is basically the main board of clothing. Yeah, I agree with that. Thank you. The deck is full of trash juice, just like Mike B's house. T Bombadil, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. We're closing in on two years, my dude. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. When Frank gets 95 Vikings, he is handling the money. He is serving the food. He knows about your party. He is calling you dude. Is that a... Is that a cake reference? I oh got I love some cake guys. Oh, my favorite is Jawbreaker. They, I don't even know how to like punk alternative. Like punk, it's not. They're not super punk. They're kind of. They have emo leanings, but like not. Uh, bottom. I just want to hit a land here, and that's actually pretty. That's actually fine. Hopefully, I hit a land so then I can shoot this dude. And no, nope, did not hit a land. Still get to stomp though. Shark Typhoon. Wind Brisk Heights. Boy, they're really just playing whatever cards they opened. Oh, come on. Give me a land. Thank baby Jesus. Do you think they have a one mana spell in their six card deck? 60 card deck, rather. Oh, thank God. Nice. Nice. -y. I would definitely not give that Monastery Mentor a chance to breathe, unfortunately. Fortunately? Un I don't know. I don't think it's fortunate or unfortunate. It's just a choice I'm making. Yep. These are some decent cards you're playing. I would love to have some lands. We have missed two land drops. By now, and we could play Time Warp into Niv Mizzet, Worm Coil. Niv Mizzet would be great to pick these guys off. I mean, they went Emory, Monastery Mentor, and Elspeth, so it's, it's a pretty solid curve. No blocks. I will, however, abrade your angel. <sighs> yep, we're going to lose this game because we cannot hit land drops, unfortunately. Uh, 
is Boxcar an album? I'm pretty sure Boxcar is just a track on 24 Hour Wrench Therapy. Super Fritz, you poser. Chase the Mind Sculptor. Oh man, this is gas, dude. That Lantax infomercial is apt. Hey, we got a fourth land, boys. Well, shit. <laughs> got him. God, turn seven have new visit on board wild just wild this is rough Oh my god, these dogs, dude. I can't handle them right now. Absolute cuties. Alright, so we did play a land this turn, unfortunately. Alright, well, this seems decent because looters should be able to get us some more lands. I'm going to draw three cards. It's <laughs> the impression of my opponent. Have you ever felt close to tragedy? Been close to those who have. What is most impressive about those 80 cards, the Orion decks, that even though they have 80 cards, they always have Teferion Curve? Even in Limited, man. They're just like, I got it. And you're like, god damn. Unforgiven 2258. I forgot to I forgot to mark this stipulation. Hey, they're just going to keep attacking us with this guy, huh? Okay. Okay. Well, here we are. Still no land, but that's okay. I'm just an empty space. A dark and space. Actually, you're gonna go to Jace, and you're gonna go to Face. Cause we want to be able to time warp here, kind of. Okay, still didn't hit a land. Who <laughs> boy, that's something. All right, well. Let's get rid of... I think Sahili's a little too slow right now. Boop, boop, boop. 
I mean, if we still if we draw opposition here, it's actually pretty nuts. Because they have six mana. Get back what monster mentor, wind brisk heights. That's fine. Opposition off the top would be great. You know what? I'll even take a land into a time warp into an opposition. I don't think I'm asking too much. That don't impress me much. Huh? Huh? And you can get land, mentor, or, or emery, or wind brisk kites. Those are your choices. That sunny tea will burn your throat. Wind breast heights. They will see us waving from wind breast heights. Come down now. You can pump this guy, because I'll block, buddy. I'm actually probably just going to go to four here, because if we do hit opposition... Lightning strike. Hmm... One, two, three, four. Keep one back. We can go one, two, three. Hit your face. I really just want to land. I, I don't think it's that... I really don't feel like a fifth land on turn nine is that much to ask for, but here we are. Elspeth. Elspeth, your face. I'm actually going to send all these guys... Because I'm going to hope for the land. Oh, for fuck's sake. <sighs> yeah, you know what? I'm just done. <laughs> Next card. Yep, alright. Phyrexian Roker actually seems pretty decent. They don't seem to have a ton of removal, and they do have a, a good amount of Planeswalkers. I'll just play 41 here. Ain't no shame in my 41 card game. Come on. Something good. Oof, that's rough. Thank you. Oh man, Hokagi Sriracha, thank you so much for the sub. Oh, Antibody, thank you so much for the gifted sub, my dude. And I also missed who that was for Vikings, but I appreciate you and you're awesome. If anyone saw it, let me know who it was. Oh god, this hand is not great either. Aldiri, thank you so much, dude. I appreciate it. I think we mulligan here. I think we mulligan. I think. Do we mulligan? I don't like it. Guess I'll have to pop in more. Hey, man. You are more than welcome to do so. Uh, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it because I think with, a, with a one or two lands, this hand is great. Oh, God. It's so risky. 
Yeah, it's only two forty nine here, so I got an, I got an hour on you. Okay, okay. Still looking for a third land. I got no one to blame for, but myself if I don't hit it, but I feel like it's not an unreasonable request. One land on the top, fuck you. Oh, you suck ass. <sighs> Super frustrating. Yeah, Mark, Shrunner's Incinerator seems insane. Are you talking about standard? It's gotta be modern, right? Card seems insane in modern. You got it. Seems good. So Healy's taking them beats. Hmm. Fascinating. Playing this now because I just want to hit a land. I would love to keep murmuring Mystica, but... Top it up. Alright. We're going to use this next turn because if we use it now, we can't actually also force... If we use it next turn, we can still force them. <sighs> sure. <laughs> you got my opt. And my axe. Secret of the way. Okay. Land? Oh my god, I'm just like so grateful for these lands. You know what? This is a time where I'm just windmill slamming this. I haven't seen many counter spells from them. Source of Plowshare is my guy. Okay. You know what? Sure. As of tomorrow, you're tied for number one gift leader. Nice. For fuck's sake, are you serious? If I just tapped one, two, three, four, five, if I tapped one more land instead, they wouldn't be able to play this. I guess we do have force of negation. That's pretty that's pretty bonkers. Okay. I guess I feel fine about that. We get another guy. And we get to counter their Elspeth Conqueror's death. Um, I think this guy's just better here. We can also turn a servo into a copy for the future spells we cast. That seems good, right? Oh, he's also legendary though, so that's pretty sad. Yeah, Talran's not much better because they have Caracas, so they can just bounce it every turn. Yep, 
like that. Sure. <sighs> All right, well, still an uphill battle. Actually, I think I want to keep this up, right? So I guess we'll... Yep, that's fine. Don't care about that thing. They also have one card, so we can actually trust probably kind of prioritize like eh, I want to keep their blue down give me a spell here that's a spell um That's pretty good. Two birds with one stone. Um, artifact. Let's get rid of Worm Coil. Play our land. Abrade this guy. Make two more guys. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, this seems good. Okay, that'll do. <laughs> that'll do. All right. Well, our deck is pretty sweet, so let's try to let's try to three zero with this guy. Yeah, the thing is I never draft the, like, the blue-red spells tokens deck, so. Close it out. This is a keeper. All right. You're also above Chorwit. <laughs> Is this the same deck? We want to do this now so that they don't have a spell in response. Seems pretty obvious. That will be ridiculous. That's what love is for. Nothing else would do. Whoa, no! Oh, I could have played that dude. I was just... Well, I don't know why I came up with Raid. I don't know why I didn't just play Bone Crusher Giant there. That's wild. I forgot about Bone Crusher Giant. Oh, but Kira's good, right? You encounter my Whirler Rogue? No. Nobody cares about the Whirler Rogue. It's 
swords, the world. What? what was that a one for point five? I like it. Is this the same deck? Get rid of the whites, I guess. Or the blues, rather. See, I did not forget about Dre. Are you whistling Ring of Fire? I was. I was indeed whistling Ring of Fire. See, next turn we can go Talran plus a Braid or Thrill, which is pretty good. So. Oh. Fascinating. Uh, let's get another blue. Sure. Do, 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 do. Huh. Yeah, that's fine. Yep, you got it. Let's go to your draw step. Yeah, I know it's not because they have 30 cards and the other one had Yorion, but like... Are you just going to Sphinx's Ruff for two? It's one of the few cards I can imagine during upkeep. There's no like sweepers during upkeep. You're clicking on X's. I don't know what's going on here. This is wild. Impulse. Okay. I mean, I'm at 21. If they want to pump and attack, I'll go to 16. That's fine. I do keep F6ing, though, when I have multiple spells I can use. Sure. I should prox at 8. Yep, got it. Hmm. I mean, that's good, but we're not going to use it now. Well, might as well hit her. So next time we can keep up Force and play Bone Crusher. Seems okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go to draw step. Waste that mana. Oh, waste that mana. Oh, boo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, okay. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, now I just want to keep him on two lands. Like, I'm pretty sure I can make creatures faster than they can with Elspeth, so... Sure, I'll take five. Sounds good. One, two, three, one, two, three, one. Elspeth, Elspeth, Elspeth. Let's see if they want to trade. I kind of want to keep the island just in case I want to play Thrill at the end of their turn. Also, if we hit a blue card with Thrill, Force is free on their turn, so... Actually, I kind of want to thrill here, I think, because thrill is more like. Ha yep, that's fine. Make two guys. Wow! <laughs> okay, you got it. That's insane. And now I'm looking silly, but that's okay. Yep, again with these shenanigans. Should have just played the island. I'm just gonna do this. Like, I'm not gonna. <laughs> okay, they didn't tap that one. Okay, that was weird. Were they gonna Sphinx's Rev? And then they're like, oh shoot, I didn't tap this in response. I only have one blue. Because that's interesting. That sucks. Okay. That was pretty rough. I don't... That's kind of weird you have... Day of Judgment in your Seeker of the Way Thraven Inspector Elspeth deck, but... You have one card in hand? Sure. And there's the Sphinx's Rev that we fucking knew they had. Oh, it's actually a Shark Typhoon. Oh. Interesting. <laughs> Amazing. Absolutely incredible. Sick draws, dude. Must be nice. <laughs> Man, Day of Judgment into El Eleshnorn into fucking Shark Typhoon. Seems good, dude. Seems good. Also having Force of Will and Mana Tithe in hand. Okay.
You're man tied my my spell skype. Interesting. Interesting. Well, we're hoping for a land. I really feel like if we cast this guy like on the turn we should have, like it would have been a different game. Do they day of judgment here? Who knows? Yep. Guess the answer is yes. So we tried a day and seeker for Bone Crusher Spell Skite. I think that's totally fine. Especially if we can draw land for Warm Coil next turn. Interesting. I'm just going to opposition here because they have three lands, so. <laughs> Nykthos is very weird. I like that I still have three minutes more than them, even though I'm like oppositioning every game, so. Prismatic lens, we're abrading that for sure. The fewer cards you have on board for us, the better. Land? Let's thrill, get rid of lightning strike. Okay. Having forbid seems good. Uh, no attacks. Shark Typhoon, oh. Sure. Okay, let's not, let's not skip through our turn here. <laughs> sure, dude. Fucking amazing. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord. I'm just like... They already used Day of Judgment. What are they exile? Fallen Shinobi? What the fuck? What? 
What is even happening, dude? That's not what I wanted to do at all. That's... That's a bummer. It's obviously this. Probably this guy. Yeah, didn't want to play that land because now we have seven mana, which does nothing. Teferi. Uh, crying out loud. Let's get like a two drop so we can. Sublime. Yeah, I think our draws are not great this game. And also misclicking on that land was rough because we would still have a Murmuring Mystic in hand, which actually just puts us way, way ahead. Yep, meant to tap that guy. <laughs> oh, I'm just misplaying left and right, guys. It's like 3 a.m. I'm not feeling too bad about it. Multiple lands. Seems good. Yep, this has been rough. <laughs> Either way, no matter how this game ends, be sure to check out ManageRaiders.com, CoolStuffInc.com, and definitely sign up for Vikings. It'll take you five minutes, guys. Does not take a long time. Fucking Christ. Cool. You got it. <laughs> Wonderful. Sweet three color deck. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Definitely download Vikings and give it a shot. It takes five minutes of your time. It's free and it helps me out a ton. You can find the link pretty much everywhere in the YouTube description, on my Twitch profile, or in the chat. And uh, thank you guys for the help. I will see you guys next time. Have a great night, guys. I'll see you later.